Welcome back to Wrenches of Motion, where if it ain't broke, I ain't buying it. And today, we're working on something that's not mine. Um, kind of looks like my truck. Got the same front end. It's a midnight edition. Um, this is a 2015 Chevy Silverado 1500 with a bad AC condenser. I do a little bit of research online, and you'll find that all of these AC condensers fail in the same spot. I'll show you where it is, and uh, I'm not going to show you a lot of replacing this. This is just going to be a short video to show that, yes, I do work on actually other things besides Hondas. So, let's get into the video. And this has kind of got me worried a little bit because I have a 2018. And so far my AC is working. Um, this has got 160,000 miles. Mine's only got 60,000. Uh, maybe that has something to do with it. When I was at the dealer, the uh, <laughs> my salesman that I bought the truck from said, oh yeah, we replace condensers all the time. So definitely a known issue with GM. They're not going to do anything about it, of course. I think there's a couple lawsuits, but... You know, you join a class action lawsuit, you get 50 cents, the lawyers get, you know, 50 bucks, so I'm not even going to worry about that. And if you were here, you'd be listening to Rearview Mirror by Pearl Jam. So let's get back. Unfortunately, my tripod is too short, so I can't show getting in there and doing this stuff. Um, I wish I had a taller tripod. Maybe I'll try to order one, but... Okay, we're going to be looking in through the grill... And this may not give the best representation. You may not be able to see it the best, but um, up here, oh, the light's too bright. Um, you'll see a. No, you won't. You won't see a. Yeah, right there, right in the center. That little um, thing right there is welded. It's like right in the center of your screen and you can see a little bit of moisture going up and if you look down you can see a whole bunch of moisture leaking from it there you go and now you can see a little bit so anyway that thing leaks on all these trucks and of course your freon leaks down and then all of a sudden you don't have any ac so what we've done so far is um, we've taken out those two pieces of plastic the main cover that goes across here, that's easy enough. There's a that other little piece of plastic goes in here, goes all the way across. Um, it clips in right there. And I probably can't see it all that well. Anyway, it clips in right there on both sides. So now uh, we got some more work to do, but if you'll see right there, that is where the condenser clips in, top and bottom, way down there. So we got to make sure we get them clipped in right, and you can see it's it's wet there also. So very good. These top ones here. Let's see if we can get this light out of here. This is the uh, input for the transmission or output for the transmission cooler, one of the two. And if you come over to this side, same thing. So we got to take those out. Probably gonna leak some transmission fluid, which is fine. And then uh, way down there is the uh, um, input and output for the Freon. So we gotta take the condenser out. Um, this bar is gonna come out. We unloosen this. And this whole bar is gonna come out. There's three bolts under here and three bolts under the other side. I get that out, gives us plenty of room. Uh, this here, we're just gonna, what you do is push that back. There's a clip in here, push the clip out, and that'll pop right out. So that's how you do those. And let's get started. Oh, we're also going to have to take out the uh, air box because it's just a whole lot easier to get to everything if you do. So we're going to take the air box out. Um, I don't know if we're going to take all this out or just the air box up to here. We'll find out when we get there. So with that being said, let us um, continue. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to try to get this crash, not crash bar, but this, this bar out of here. All right, so for this bar, um, you also have to undo the two 
um, little side supports. And something else that they didn't mention, a couple other things, is uh, this flap. You gotta take that flap out of the way. Um, and these two that bolt the radiator in, you gotta loosen them up so you can slide this out. Because right now it's got a lot of tension on it. Also, I mean, we still got the 13 we gotta do there. And this is how, I mean, you can barely see, I mean, I can barely see standing here, but you can barely see a, a nut in there or a bolt in there. So what we gotta do is take our ratchet, it luckily has a bending head, and come in upside down. And that's how we gotta get this thing out of here. It's either that or go through the hassle of taking out the washer reservoir, which I really don't wanna do. So uh, that's where we're at right now. And if you were here, you'd be listening to Master of Puppets by Metallica. Okay, well we finally got all six of those bolts out. Um, the real pain in the butt one is right here. And I may investigate pulling out the washer tank uh, next time just to make it a little bit easier. You saw how we had to fold the, the ratchet in basically like a, a U shape in order to get up there and get it in. So now that we've got the uh, the six bolts out and the radiator mounts loosened, this should come out. I said this should come out. What is holding it now? Good. Obviously something's still holding it. Take these radiator things all the way out okay and then i'll be right back we'll see okay i think that was it those bolts uh i thought they just went into here to hold it they go all the way through so with those out yeah now this thing i thought it was gonna come right out Isn't that great? Why are you not coming out? Well, that's because of the headlight. I'm not taking the headlights out. And I'll go back because of the washer tank. I guess we're taking the washer tank out. Perfect. I was hoping not to have to do that, but based on what I'm seeing, yeah, we're going to have to do that, I think. Well, isn't that just another pain? Yeah, because it comes back. Will not clear that. Okay, well, we got that piece out without taking out that. Um, what we did end up doing though is we did end up bending this a little bit. So we'll pound that back down nice and flat again. But it's out. Now, for this here, I did say that, you know, it's hard to film this. With some decent light because i don't have any but um you can see we pulled the plastic away this is the clip that goes on there uh, you take the clip off and that should pop right out so we'll do that we'll do the same on the other side don't lose these clips and then we got to worry about yeah the the big holes on the bottom hoses on the bottom piece Transmission, I'm falling. Okay, so let's get back to that. And uh, it's a shame you're not here because you're missing coming home by the scorpions. Okay, I've been slacking on the filming because um, I've been in there working. So inside, underneath, you've got this stud, a 13 millimeter bolt on there, or nut on there, and the, uh, the lines go in, this bracket, 
gets bolted to the radiator with a 10 millimeter bolt. That's going to go back on the new one. I'm going to take this stud out because it, it does have the uh, like the outside Torx thing. So I'm going to use that in, in, that stud instead. And uh, people say put that on after you put it in, but I'll tell you what, it came out easy enough. So I think I'm just going to put it on the new one before I put it in. Uh, these plastic pieces here will uh, go on the new one as well. That's for air diversion. And if you look in here, this is going to be pretty disgusting. Uh, look at this <laughs> radiator and then down here. So what we're going to do is we're going to get the vacuum cleaner. We're going to clean all this up. And uh, we're not going to clean all the trans fluid off of here until after we get it all put back together. But I did notice, and I let him know that his trans fluid is brown instead of red. Probably needs to be changed. Um, it has never been changed at the 160,000 miles. So it's definitely due. And there you can see it. It is uh, definitely brown and not red. I don't think I'm going to do it. Um, because I don't have time. I've got to go to Wisconsin on tomorrow for nine days. And then I may have to fly to Hawaii right after that. So uh, my schedule is kind of busy with work, of course. All right, so we just threw the uh, condenser back in. Uh, we haven't hooked up the uh, transmission cooler lines yet. And we still got to, you know, move it and bolt everything in. But I wanted to get the uh, vacuum pump on there right away. So it's going to take about a half hour. Uh, so far, we're looking good. I did shut it off for about five minutes, and we did not lose any vacuum. So I think once we're done with this, we're going to turn it off, let it sit for an hour. Uh, make sure we don't lose any vacuum, and if we don't, then we'll go ahead and uh, charge this thing up. But for right now, uh, vacuum it down. Uh, turn it off, let it stay on a vacuum for a half hour, or for an hour. And if it stays, I think we're going to be good. So while we're doing that, I'm going to hook up the trans cooler lines. I'm going to clean up my mess, because there's trans fluid spilled everywhere. And, uh... I'm also going to look for the cap for the windshield washer because I hit it and it flew and I have no idea where it is. Okay, it's been chilling for a while. Still there. Still there. Uh, okay, so we're done with that, which is good. Uh, the new... Um, the new thing, condenser, came with uh, clips already in it for the lines. So I think I'm going to take the, oh, where did I go? They pushed them away there, okay. Yeah, so we're just going to uh, push them in, uh, pull the radiator back, clip that all in, get that all done. And then uh, uh, put the air box back in, of course, because we need the math. Start it, turn on the AC. And charge this thing up, and hopefully it'll work. All right, I'm going to finish this video by uh, by saying the uh, cap that I knocked off that I can't find, I took off my truck. I'll just get a new one for me. I don't care. I'm going to put this cover on with all the push pins. Uh, all the push pins are up on top of the BMW. The uh, cover is somewhere. Oh, cover's right over here. So I'll put that on. Um, I had these cans of Freon and this little thing which did not work. It leaked out more Freon than it put in, so I went to the AC Pro. Uh, not that I really wanted to, but I did. What I don't know, and it would be really nice if you could just get replacement cans and keep the nice little, little digital gauge, but I've got a feeling that's a one-time use only. So, there's that. Um... Sorry I didn't film more. Uh, I uh, <laughs> I knocked this over the edge for s somehow. I don't even know how I did it. And uh, yeah, all my tools are all on the ground. This this has been one of them days where it's like, you know, I don't I don't even want to say what kind of day it's been. But that's it for the uh, 2015 Silverado. And I hope you enjoy the video. 
keep the wheels down and keep your wrenches in motion.